Hello everybody and welcome back to another Unity tutorial video. Uh, today we're going to go ahead and start our next game. Uh, we're going to be making a matching game and this is a matching game with uh, cards. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and create a folder and call it resources. In resources we're going to go ahead and make a folder called graphics a folder called models a folder called prefabs and a folder called scripts okay and we're going to import some assets these will be on the website for you guys to download. So let's just copy these all into graphics. And when this finishes, I'm going to take the model and take that and put it into models. So this is our model. Let's drag it into the scene. And we're going to change the scale to 1 and click apply. And then we're going to rotate this 90, 90. Let's take one of our graphics and put it on top. So this is one of the cards with a symbol on it. Okay, and let's flip this over 180. And this is a card. Okay, um, so the next thing we're going to do is let's move our camera up a little bit. Or tilt it. So move it to 13, negative 12, and then 30. Okay, let's go ahead and create a temporary board. Just going to be a cube that we stretch out uh, 10, 20 by. 30. Let's drop this. Okay. So the point of the game is obviously that we're going to be able to click on these cards and when we click on them they're going to flip over and if you flipped over two cards that were the same then you have a match and then they don't flip back over. Um, so we want to go ahead and create a grid. So let's make a grid, put that at zero, zero, zero. Um, let's go to scripts and create a grid. When this finishes compiling, take it and drop it on. Let's open this up. Okay. So what we're going to want to do is something slightly different than we've done before. We're going to include a uh, command up here called execute in edit mode and that tells Unity that this script will run when the editor is running. This is the editor. Um, we're going to have a bool, a public bool. Create good. Set that to false. We have another one. Clear grid. Set that to false. Then we're going to have two functions in here, or in void, or update. Uh, 
one's going to be clear grid, and then one's going to be create grid. Okay, and then we're going to call both of them clear grid. And then create grid. Let's go ahead and use our collection since we want to have a list. Collections that generic. And then a public list of game objects called slots. And then we're going to make an enumerator or an, yeah, an enum, enum. And this is our grid type. Right now we're just going to have one, uh, which is x by y. Uh, public grid type. We're going to use this to determine which what type of grid we want to make. Uh, for now it's just going to be x by y. And then we also are going to have an orientation. This is an enum as well. And just right now we're going to be uh, top left. This is going to be our orientation. Okay. We save that and look back at our grid. We'll have a couple of new stuff. Uh, right now, none of it does anything. So let's go ahead and expand some of this. So if we are creating a grid, and so since this is being run in edit mode, we're going to set this to true when we click on this button or this checkbox, and then it will tell the uh, script to run in this area but we only want to run it once so we're going to turn it off as soon as we turn it on and we're going to do the same thing for clear grid and we're going to turn that off too all right so if we want to do an x by y grid Let's go ahead and get some x by y values. Public, public int x, public int y chords, public int x spacing, y spacing. Okay, so using that. We can go ahead and loop our int y equals zero, y less than y chords, y plus plus, or int x equals zero, x less than x chords, x plus plus. <clears throat> All right, and now. We want to create a game object. And we want to name this. Let's go ahead and create an index. That be zero. And we'll say this is slot index dot two string. And then we also want to go ahead and add this to our slots list. All right, in here, we want to go ahead and uh, loop through our list of slots. And then for each slot in the list, we want to destroy the object since, and then clear the list. Uh, So we loop through the list, and since we're doing it um, in the editor, we have to use destroy immediate.
And then after this, we want to say slots.clear. OK. Thank you. 